All right, welcome back to the channel and welcome to our next tour in Five Star Supreme Wrestling. Our first full tour of the save, actually, as we are building to Women of Wrestling 2022. I, um, yeah, I really don't have much to say going into this as there's not much we've done so far other than have a pretty good start to our save. Um, lucky for us, Maki Yoshifumi is literally back the day of the tour, so we'll be able to use her out the gate. Um, I have the full tour pre-booked out, um, not in the game, but I have it on a spreadsheet pre-booked, and then I'll pre-book it in the game to make booking go faster, but, uh, I didn't put everything in the game because, like I said, I, I have PTSD from TW 2020, the injuries being so frequent that I don't trust <laughs> that uh, the game won't give me at least two injuries during every tour. So, yeah, other than that, let's just get in top dollar dating. How? How did he find a wife? Um, sorry. Um, yeah, without any more to do, let's just get into the tour. I, I realized as I was editing the last episode, um, no, I'm not giving anybody the night off. Um, would it be, would it be, because we aren't making a lot of fucking money. I think just running a generic venue, because they want us to run this place for absolutely no reason. I'm going to run the generic venue because it's going to cost us less. Uh, backstage incidents, we have drills on basics for seven students, good to see. Uh, Jemmy had a classic rib on Sayuri. I'm pretty sure Sierra is one of our young lions, so that was probably at her expense, poor girl. Um, Miwako tried to bring Kiyomi for some team building, and it only annoyed her. All right, beautiful. Cool, let's, some, let's bond again. This has been working really well. So, I, I'm not even reading any of this. I'm just, I'm looking for anything that doesn't say strengthened, because that's all that we really need to worry about. Um, so yeah, I realized, I cut myself off, I realized that in the last episode, I was just kind of excited to get the save going, so I kind of really rushed through the show running, um, so I'm gonna try not to do that, I'm gonna try to, like, just slow down a little, just to explain what's going on, so we're gonna open the show, I didn't number these, fuck, oh, man, I'm gonna open the show with... Do I not have it pre-booked? No, here it is. All right. I was looking for someone else's name. We're going to open. Um, I realized as I was pre-booking that having uh, all the having the Young Lions in a trios match every single tour show actually is going to make it harder to book as I had more time to work with. So I thought just having two of them team up and one do a singles match every tour show would add 20 minutes to the card and also help me get more people on the card. So, yeah, we're going to open with um, Paige Croft and Hart Saito versus Kiyomi and Sayuri. Hart Saito is going to get the victory. And then we also have Monster Ishimura versus Aikida. Um, all my Young Lion matches are going to go 10 minutes total, 8-minute matches. That's just how it's always going to be. And then every non-Young Lion match, I like to have at least go 10 minutes um, not total, like 10 minutes here. So, yeah, obviously Monster Ishimori is getting the victory there. And then we have a promo from her that I will read when we run the show. And our first actual match of the um, uh, show, we are doing Kade and Kinye. They are teaming up once again. We had them team up, I think, once on the last tour. So they're going to team up again to take on the current tag champs, the Uprising. And Talia Quinzel will get the victory tonight. As even though it's not a title match, I don't really want my champions losing tag matches, if that makes any sense. And then Kade will cut a promo. And up next, we have Team Sub versus Torment and Sorrow. Team Sub, of course, getting the 3v3 victory in the semi main last show, teaming with Shiori Japensha. But this tour, they look to do their own thing, and they're going to take on Torment and Sorrow. And this is kind of like, this is a fun match, because it's like 
this is kind of what was supposed to happen on the pay-per-view before Maki Yoshifumi got hurt. So they're actually going to get their chance to take on Team Sub. Um, unfortunately, uh, Team Sub will get the victory. I mean, unfortunately for Torment and Sorrow, Team, Team Sub will get the victory. Etsuko will get the pinfall. And yeah, up next, Semi-Main, Miwako, and... Um, let me re- let me there we go. Shiori Japensha, Thea Davis, and Karen Belaus. I think their team name. I don't know why it doesn't say their team name, but I think that their team name is Power and Glory. I think yeah, Power and Glory. It used to be the Power and the Glory, but I got rid of the thes to just make it roll off the tongue a little better. Are they are taking on the Termination and our champion Miwako? And Miwako will actually get the victory here tonight. I'm sure a lot of people are expecting Shiori to get the victory. But no, Miwako will get the victory, pinning Karen Balaus. And after the match, Shiori will cut a promo. And in our main event, Maya and Lady Lotus are going to team up against Megumi Nakajima and Yuma Maruya in the main event. Megumi finally um, I, I finally, like, I built up to it. <laughs> At the pay-per-view, Megumi, um, explained how Yuma was a very important and close friend to her, and she wasn't gonna let Shiori Japensa just fucking have her way with her. So they're gonna team up. This is the first time that they're, like, in their professional career, admitting that they're friends, admitting it like it's a bad thing, but... <laughs> um, Yuma is gonna get the pinfall over our new All-Asian champion, Maya, and that is our tour show... Booking analysis, Karen is being slightly overused. I don't think it matters. I think we tested that. It won't matter for tour shows. And I don't know why pre-booking is gold. Um, but yeah, so that's how we're going. The opener, the opening Young Lion match got a 52. Paige Croft and Hart Saito don't have bad chemistry, so that's good to see. Uh, 44 for Monster and Ikira. Uh, good, good Young Lion match. And then after a dominating victory over one of five stars Young Lions, Monster Ishimura grabs a microphone and says she will continue to dominate whoever stands before her until she has earned her rematch for the five star All Asian Championship. Monster Ishimura is not taking that loss of her title too well, and she is going to continue to take on or try to take on Maya to regain that All Asian Championship. Her promo gets a 44. 54 for Kade and Kinye versus the Uprising. Um, Kinye kind of was, you know, she was the weak link, but she is getting up there in age. She's, I think, like 37, which is around the time when people start to decline, but um, maybe, oh no, wait, she was just off her game. Maybe, okay, I'll take it with a grain of salt. I did not see that. All right, but the match got a 54. And then after a loss to the tag champions tonight, Kade grabs a microphone from ringside and slowly gets right into Kinye's face, only just to say, you are pathetic, before spiking the mic and walking away. So uh, this short-lived tag team is going to stay short-lived as uh, Kade is not happy that (laughs) Kinye uh, blew the match for them tonight. 23 for that promo. 62 for Torment and Sorrow versus Team Sub. You knew this match was going to do great. Chieko had the worst performance of the night, but nobody really had a bad performance. You did really well, actually. And I was kind of uh, expecting a little more out of Itsuko. So, uh. Uh, but match got a 62, so good to see. And then in our semi-main, uh, Power and Glory and Shiori Japensha lose to Miwako and the Termination. Uh, 56 for this rating. Miwako was really off her game, but she still had the best performance. Holy fuck. Okay. Shiori Japensa stays good. Yeah, that's what you expect. And then following the match, Miwako is about to leave, but Shiori has her microphone and stops her from exiting the ring. Shiori tells Miwako that despite being the current world champion, nobody sees her as the face of the company. Rather, everybody sees Yuma as the face. Shiori wants to team up with Miwako at the pay-per-view to take out Yuma and Megumi and quote any other loser Yuma brings to fight her battles for her. Miwako doesn't give Shiori an answer tonight, but she doesn't shoot down the idea. So Shiori's just essentially trying to gaslight Miwako into helping her take out Yuma for Shiori's own personal gain. And 
Miwako might see through this. Like, we gotta remember, Miwako's not an idiot. She is our world champion for a reason. So she might see through this, but she might team up with Shiori if she has her own anything to gain from it. Or maybe Shiori is getting into Miwako's head, like, you're the champion, but nobody sees you as the face. Is that true? Who knows? All that Shiori cares about is if Miwako thinks it's true. 48 for the promo, and then our main event gets a 60. Beautiful. Maya had a 51. I am really high on Maya. I think she could be a star in our company. Um, and Lady Lotus, too. Um, fellow YouTuber and friend, my Tyler, said that he is really high on Lady Lotus. So I'm going to give her a chance. I have her in a um, favorable position in the upcoming tours so i'm gonna see how well she does for us um because i never really i don't really know lady lotus i don't know any of these people but lady lotus is also in the mid card so the mid card's kind of a crapshoot for who i'm gonna push because i don't know if they're gonna be good or not um but yeah main event gets a fifth it gets a 60 yuma and megumi both with great performances maya with a great performance and yeah 60 to end the show good start to the tour uh, the show benefited from having a wide selection of angles, and we made a thousand dollars. Okay, good. Show costs were only six hundred thirty-one. I'm going to have to just run the cheapest venue available for who I can like fit into the, um, like I I'm what I I just mean I need to be more cautious of what venues I need to book because of the finances. So. Yeah, we're, we're almost 10k in the hole one month in, so, uh, alright. Alright, no media scrum. Alright, cool, so that is tour episode one. Alright, we're here for night two. Uh, I forgot to press record, but again, nothing happened. Uh, we skipped give the night off, we picked a generic venue, and then we went right to locker room incidents. Uh, good thing I didn't skip this, because there's always something here. Um, Miwako is just fucking pissing everybody off as the morale officer and all she's trying to do is make team building efforts um i th i genuinely i think it's just because of their personalities i don't think anything we have to worry about uh heart saito keeps running training which is fine um psychology onto the problem child that is so and yeah locker room incidents are fine do we need to, we don't need to worry about anything so let me just... Should I pull a rib? Should I pull a rib? 30% chance of improving morale. 10% chance of upsetting the target. Um, No, I don't want to mess with that. I'll just keep doing team bonding until it backfires on me. And a bunch of strength. And hell yeah. All we need to see there. Okay. Alright, on to the show. So we're opening the show first with... um. Young Lions versus Rika Rina. Eight minutes, Rina gets the victory, and then followed by Kade Sugiyama versus the problem child, Young Lion. And cool. Next up, we have um, Say and Monster versus the team of Machiko Matsus Matsuza. Fucking, that was not right. <laughs> Machiko Matsuda and Yukiko Matsumara. Um, these are two girls that I have, they're in, like, the lower mid-card range, and they're kind of similar, so if they have good chemistry, they'll become a regular team, and if they have bad chemistry, obviously I won't team them up, but there is a good chance that even if they don't have good chemistry, I will continue to team them up, um, but yeah, but in tonight, Monster Ishimura will get the victory again, continuing her quest to, um, work her way back to the All-Asian title, teaming with the current Triangle Champion, and yeah, match goes 13 minutes, Monster pins Yukiko, Yukuko, no, Yukiko, I was right. Alright, um, up next I have Maya and the Termination versus Asami, Okubo, Hana, Ajimata, and Romi Amato. Match goes 15 minutes, steal the show, Maya will get the victory, kind of to give her, kind of, kind of giving, trying to give her a win back of some sorts after losing in the main event of the previous tour show. So Maya gets the victory pinning Asami. And then we have Birds of Prey and Team Sub. Big 4v4 match here. Birds of Prey and Team Sub teaming up to take on the tag champs, the Uprising, and the team of Pagecroft and Heart Saito. 
Uh, Chiek Okita will get the victory over Talia Quinzel tonight. Match will go 19 minutes, and then Team Sub cut a promo that I will read out in the show. And then in our main event, even though Miwaku did not give an answer for teaming up against Yuma at the pay-per-view, we have a trios match to kind of see. Maybe, maybe they agreed, maybe they didn't. Just to like test the waters with Shiori and Miwako. Um, they're going to team with Lady Lotus to take on Eri Sato, Megumi Nakajima, and Yuma Maruya. And in tonight's main event, Shiori Japensa will go over pinning Megumi Nakajima. And um, yeah, match goes 23 minutes. And then we have a post show angle for the main event. Um. Yep, start the show, won't be penalized, pre-booking is yellow, my dog's going crazy in the corner there, I don't know if you can hear his, um, hear his collar, uh, he wants out, but he was barking, so he's gotta stay for this tour show, alright, alright, opening the show, 44 for the Rika Arena versus the Young Lions, they both did alright, um, oh, he is really clawing at there, hold up, alright, alright, he was barking to get into the room, but, um, didn't want to stay, so, he, he can't come back. I don't know. I don't know these dogs. They're loud. Uh, 44 for Rika Rina versus the Young Lions. Good match to open the show. And another 44 for Kade versus Kiyomi. Um, yeah, Angle got the crowd hotter. Crowd is white hot right now. Uh, opening. Say and Monster have absolutely zero chemistry as partners. That's fine. I don't think I have them teaming up. In upcoming tour shows, um, if not, I'll just turn it into a three-way, because, not a three-way, a, a six-man, but, yeah, they have zero chemistry, so their performances are going to be a little low. Machigo got a 51, so that's cool, that's cool to see, um, 43, yeah, cool, all right, and then 56 for Maya in the Termination versus Asami Hana and Romy. Uh, Maya got a 53. Maya is really impressing me, guys. Maya is really impressing me. Romy and Toku were off their game, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, I, I think Toku could get me good 40s if she's not off her game. And Unstoppable Tie also with a 50. Um, yeah, good match, 56. Then, uh, we get that penalty again. I forgot about that. I'm, I'm gonna let it ride out another tour show. Uh, but, but, if, if it keeps going coming up with matches that get like good ratings i'm gonna i'm gonna have to get rid of one of them i might just take i i don't know i don't know i might just get rid of ochio i don't think she's a road agent because devil can at least road agent too so um but yeah tonight fuyuko higa got the best rating of the night in this match with a 57 everybody did pretty good here um selena and chieko didn't really do as well as everyone else, but everyone had a decent performance here. And then after the impressive victory where Chiyoko Kita pinned one half of the tag champs and their victory at the last pay-per-view in the trios match, Team Sub have earned a five-star tag team title match and will face the uprising at the pay-per-view. So that is our first match set for the pay-per-view Team Sub versus the Uprising for the five-star tag team championship segment got a 29. Um, and then our main event gets a 63. Fuck yeah, nobody had a performance below 50. Yuma almost had a 70. Amazing. That girl is something else. Holy shit. Okay, wow. Beautiful. That's why... I, dude, and I protected her too. I put, um... I protected her and she still had a 69. Holy fuck. Yeah, but in the main event, Shiori and Miwako's team up is successful tonight. And then Miwako then announces that she and Shiori have put their differences aside, at least for one tour show, to team up at the pay per view. Either Shiori got into Miwako's ear or Miwako. No, Shiori got into Miwako's ear, gaslit her into teaming up with her. And the two challenged Yuma and Megumi to a 2v2 in the main event of Women of Wrestling 2022. And Yuma and Megumi accept. That is another match set up. That will be our main event. Yuma and Megumi versus Miwako and Shiori Japensha in the main event of the pay-per-view. Rating of a 60 tonight. Show increased in four regions. Made us... Okay, so we're, so we're slowly... We're slowly getting, you know... Just every day we don't run a show, we lose money, and we can't run shows every day. So, 
the first bit of this save is just going to be us running at a loss. Um, that's just how it's going to have to be. Um, I did get, I did just read a comment by um, one of my regular viewers, Chandler, who told me Wrestle World PRSU is going to launch in February or March. And um, I wish I knew that, but that's because <laughs> um, Shogun will not let us, they have exclusive rights to everywhere in Japan. So we got to wait until our Shogun TV deals are done before we can go to Wrestle World. Because the benefit of going to Wrestle World is I don't think they have minimum broadcast qualities. Um, let me actually check right now, but we'd be able to save a lot of money on production running with Wrestle World. Uh, so let me let me find Wrestle World. I think. Oh, they have popularity requirements though. Okay, we'll be fine though. We'll be fine because it'll be. Semi-pro, hired pro, and generic. How... Um... Okay. Semi-pro, hired pro. Okay, where are... Can I... Is there somewhere I can just see all of them? Do I have to go into here? What would, what would it be called? Production values? Oh, God. I don't like that it doesn't... In 2020, if you click the question mark, it went right to where you were. Like, where you were looking. So let me try and find, oh god, products, where the fuck would it be, oh this is such a pain now, um, running your company, no, oh Jesus fuck, you know what fucking, I don't care, I don't care. I can't even, there's nowhere that'll just tell me the fucking, I'm not looking for it. I don't give a shit. I'm not looking for it. You get my point, though. Maybe we wouldn't even be able to save that much on production. <laughs> um, oh, well. All right, backstage for night three. Skip and give the night off. I think, that, like I said, the only time I'm ever going to use this is just to give the Young Lions the night off on pay-per-views. Um, pick a generic venue because they're cheaper. All right. Maya won a video game tournament. Fuck yeah, Tekken legend Maya. Uh, Hart Saito worked on basics and safety for seven students. Kit was passing on tips of psychology to her protege, Kiyomi Mizuka. And yeah, let's, uh, another team bonding. Oh, if it ain't broke, don't fucking fix it. Oh, yeah, well, no shit. She doesn't like, I made it, so she doesn't like me. Um, so yeah, by the way, I know I just said I think I'm gonna let it run for another pay-per-view, but, um, our other commentator, oh shit, okay, I forgot, Ochio, um, I did actually immediately cut her loose, cause I, I mean, so we were getting the penalty of bad chemistry between her and Devil, Devil's also a road agent for us, so it's just good to have her on the roster, she can't be a road agent for us, she won't be too good at it, and then I looked at her color, and it's gonna be anywhere from 50 to 68, so, I mean, at that point, it's like, we, you know what I mean? We don't need her. We have Devil, who... It, she might be worse on commentary, but there's a chance she's at a 70, so she's probably around the same as um, Ochio. And like I said, she also does commentary. And it's just, overall, it, it's, it was 200, 270 bucks a show that we were paying to get a penalty for. So it just wasn't worth having her on board anymore. All right, so we're going to open the show with Machio... Um, did I not pre-book you? There, no, there you are. Sahiri Hondo versus Machio Matsuda. Uh, eight-minute match. Machio goes over, having her get a little spotlight. Um, Kinye Mashibo and so I and Kiyomi teaming up against uh, Kinye and Hoshiko. Hoshiko gets the victory tonight. Uh, then we have. Um, but I really got a number of these. <laughs> um, this, this one, I think. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. Uh, the team of Torment and Sorrow and Kade Sugiyama versus Amiko Monster and Sei goes 14 minutes and Kade will pin our triangle champion here tonight in this matchup leading to an angle with Monster Ishimura. 
Then we have Arisato, one half of Birds of Prey, Jemmy, Heart, and Megumi teaming up against Rika, Rina, and Power and Glory. Jemmy will get the victory here tonight, and Karen Balaus will take the pin. Match goes 16 minutes. Next up, we have our semi-main singles match, which we don't do too often, but I want to see how good Paige Croft, our user character, will do um, in a singles match. Obviously, facing against Fuyuko Higa will help a lot, but yeah, match is going to go 19 minutes. Higa gets the picter Higa gets the victory over Paige, and then we have a post-match angle, and then our main event tonight. Um, I'm given I'm given these two. These two have been impressing me. Um, I'm giving them a chance to shine in the main event, as Yuma will team up with Lady Lotus, who is Miwako's eternal foe. It says in here. Um, or it said in the other one, it says in hers, um, having a great food. I guess it doesn't say eternal foe. Um, they, they're known rivals. We'll just, we'll end it at that. They're known rivals and Lady Lotus is kind of in Maya's division. So yeah, in the main event tonight though, Yuma will take the victory, pinning the world champion in the main event. And yeah, booking a now. Oh, okay. Uh, we won't be penalized. Booking analysis. Again, we don't have to worry about that. I, I, We might have to worry about that once we grow to small. But for right now, we do not have to worry about it. And we're off opening the show. Machiko gets a 52. And they have great chemistry. Um, I actually... I'm really high on um, all three of my young lions. I feel like they all could be valuable members of the roster once they graduate from the uh, uh, young lion stage. Um, Sayuri obviously reminds me, Sayuri Honda, believe it or not, reminds me of Shuri Kondo. <laughs> I think that was intentional. Um, I also don't know how much Adam Ryland and the Seavers makers know about Joshi, so maybe it was just a coincidence, but the name Sayuri Honda and Sir Shuri Kondo, just saying. Um, so she might get pushed just based on that. <laughs> um, but yeah, Machika with a 52, which is great to see. And the other Young Lion match gets a 42. Um, I, I, Kiyomi, um, she's starting to piss me off with how much she's annoying our world champion, but, um, I, I, I don't mind I too much. Uh, she's not doing too well, but she's also the youngest in terms of in-ring experience of all the three. So hopefully they get better. Um, Hoshiko got a 45. All right, 47 for Kade Sugiyama pinning Sei Akutagawa and... You and Say had a 51 each. Maki had a 50. I wasn't planning on pushing Torment and Sorrow just yet, but they're doing some really good performances for me, so I might have to put them on the fast track. Um, and then, after the match, Monster Ishimura begins ripping both of her partners a new one for blowing this match and setting her further back in her quest to regain the All-Asian title. Monster. Oh, Jesus Christ, I burped there. Oh my god, that was the protein shake. <laughs> Sorry. Um... Monster then begins getting physical, slapping, and pushing her tag partners around for being weak. She's just kind of having a fit right now. She is not happy. Um, but eventually, Amiko has had enough and slaps Monster back. Um, she gives slap right across the face, gives her one back, and then Ishimura takes a second before giving her a brutal power slam and walking off. And I don't think I have an angle setting it up, but I could I could have done a post-match press conference, a post-show press conference. Um, but on the next tour show, we will see Amiko versus Monster for these two to settle their differences. Um, but yeah, Monster, again, she's not happy. She's being set, sent further back in her quest for the All-Asian title. Um, yeah, 31 for that angle. The 4v4 gets a 57. Jemmy with a 58. Nice. Rika Rina. Karen did not do too well. Um, but everyone else with good performances. Heart Saito as well, 55. Um, yeah, you can't be mad at that. Paige Croft and Fuyoko Higa gets a 62. Beautiful. Paige Croft with a 51. Amazing. Um, but Higa gets the victory in 1928. And then after the loss, Paige attempts to give Fuyuko Higa a handshake. Um, she's like standing there waiting for Higa's response. And it looks like Higa is about to shake her hand, but out of nowhere, Higa's tagging partner, Jemmy Onishi, comes in 
I wrote out of nowhere again, sorry. <laughs> Jemmy Onishi comes in out of nowhere, and Birds of Prey begin to beat down Paige Croft. Um, and then, um, so yeah, part one is the handshake offer, part two is the beatdown, and then part three, eventually Hart Saito rushes down to the ring, Birds of, Pre Birds of Prey flee. And so Hart has been teaming with Paige regularly on the tour so far, and the two may have developed a friendship. As a result, so Hart Saito coming to the aid of Paige Croft here. Uh, 43 for that angle. And our main event gets a 62. Everyone with a good performance. Lady Lotus with a 48, but she's also the lowest push woman on the match right now. So I am not mad at all with any of these performances. Miyako with the performance of the night, 58. And yeah, 62 for the main event. You love to see it. And, and another 60, another 60 financial report. We made a thousand bucks. We're just hovering around this 93 mark, which I'm not happy about. We only rose in Shukuko. She, she co, fuck me. I'm not reading it. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm either like, I'm either amazing at pronouncing Japanese words or I just shit the bed. Oh man, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Guess who won the ripcord in between this show and the last one? That's right, it was Miller Ford. <laughs> A whole game cycle later, he's still winning the ripcord, guys. <laughs> I'm not mad about it, it's just funny. It's just funny. Because I don't think he won it in canon. I could be wrong, but if I remember correctly, I don't think he won it in canon. Oh my god, these fucking two. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. You know what? That's what I'm, I'm no no team bonding. I'm going to fucking I'm going to try. I don't care. Um It is unlikely, but Note the effects of your meddling if any may take time. Okay, so that's changed. Okay, usually it'll, the last game it would just tell you, like, hey, it didn't work or it did work, so, I guess we'll just have to check on, maybe we'll get something back from that, I don't know, um, so yeah, in terms of pre-booking, I've only pre-booked the angles now, because I realized I wasn't really saving that much time, and it just took longer to pre-book it than I would just to do this, so, yeah, opening the show, we're going to have Say get the victory over I. I actually don't care about all that. This is a Young Lion match. And then the other Young Lion match, we have um, Kiyomi and Say. Oh, that's not a tag match. Um, all right. Kiyomi and Sayuri are going to take on the Team Power and Glory. All right. Ten minutes. Karen can get the victory. Sure. All right. And then our next match, I pre-booked. I didn't pre-book it, but we did announce it. Um, will be Monster Ishimura versus Amiko Miyoshi. This match I have going 14 minutes. Uh, Monster goes over. This is not the Steal the Show match. Open script. Decisive. All right. For fucking 14 minutes? Dog, for real? She can't go 14? Oh my lord. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. Unbelievable. Jesus. I almost pushed her. I almost had this happen. Goodness. Fucking me. Alright. Um, up next, we have the team of Determination and Maya are going to team up once again to take on... Um, Asami, Lady Lotus, and Romy. Alright, this one I have going 18 minutes. You know what? I They're going to go 20 because I had to cut 2 minutes from the last match. So, T Maya and the Termination will win. They can She can pin Asami. This will steal the show. I think All Out is the same. We just can't... Yeah, we can't have it go 20 minutes. Open, script, slow build, clean. Alright, so yeah, that's going 20 minutes total, not 20 minute long match. Alright, and our semi-main, we have a 3v3 where um, Hana and Rika Rina 
will take on Hart Saito, Machiko, and Yukiko. This will go 22 minutes. All right, Hart Saito can get the victory. We'll have Rika take the pin. Open script, slow build, clean. I got to get in the habit of calling that clean and not decisive. And this is where we'll have our first promo, an angry Hart Saito promo. Um, and then our main event, we will have... This is not the right amount of people. Main event 4v4, The Uprising... Eri Sato and Megumi Nakajima will take on Team Sub, our world champion Miwako and Shiori Japensha. All right, and then, so just kind of a preview match for a couple matches we got. This is going to go 26. Uh, we can have the world champ go over. I oh, Nope, that's, she's not even on the right team. Miwako will go over. And she can pin. She can pin Airy. I think Airy's kind of got the least amount going for her for this tour. So yeah, 26 minutes. We should be at 102. All right. And then we do have a post-match press conference by Devil. Um, okay. Yeah. Pre-booking's all good. Booking analysis. We got a couple people slightly overused. Does not matter. We won't be penalized. All right. Let's get into the show. 45 for I versus Say. Say had a 51, good for her. And 47 for Power and Glory versus Kiyomi and Sayuri. And Karen with another 41. Karen, not too good for us right now. Um, but she's playing her role good enough. So it's that's all we need to worry about. 47. Monster and Emiko got a 32. <laughs> Ooh, not good. Not good match. Not a good match. All right. Uh, but Monster does get the victory over her. Um, 55 for Maya and the Termination versus Asami, Lotus, and Romy. Maya with the 52. Best performance out there. Nobody did bad, though. So, good match. Um, Maya wins. 52 for Hana, Rika, and Rina taking the job to Hart, Machiko, and Yukiko. Uh, Hart with a 50, R Rina not doing, Rina and Rika both not having a good performance, um, everyone else was alright, match got a 52, good to see, um, so, Hart Saito cuts a promo, she is not happy with Birds of Prey for beating down her good friend Paige Croft for seemingly no reason, so we do get it confirmed by Hart Saito tonight that her and Paige Croft have developed a bit of a friendship over the course of the tour, teaming up recently, and um, she tells them, she tells Birds of Prey to meet her and Paige Croft at the pay-per-view in a tag match. Unless, quote, the birds they are, are a couple of chickens. Oh shit, she's, she's fucking talking smack. Um, but yeah, that is our next match booked for the pay-per-view. That will be our semi-main, actually. Birds of Prey versus Hart Saito and Paige Croft. Promo got a 33. And our main event gets a 69. Miwako got a fucking 60. Okay. Good shit. Shiori, Megumi, and Eri all had 50s. Nobody had a bad performance tonight. Miwako was just fucking her. Holy hell. Okay. That's why she's the world champ, guys. That's why she's the world champ. Um, but yeah, the Uprising take another loss to a team sub group. In the build to the tag title match. So, uh-oh. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for the show. And at the press conference, during the press conference following tonight's show, it is announced by Devil Karubi that since Kate Sugiyama pinned the current five-star triangle champion on the last tour show in that 3v3, um, also involving Monster, Amiko, and uh, I don't remember the other two in that match, um... But in the end, Kate did pin Say, so she has earned herself a title match at the pay-per-view. However, because the title can only be defended in three-way matches, Devil announces that there will be a four-way match on the next show to determine who will be the third woman in the pay-per-view title match. Those four in the title match will be Hoshi... Sorry, in the non-title match, in the four-way number one contenders match... It will be Hoshiko Takaga, Kanye Matsushibo, 
Machiko Matsuda and Yukiko Matsumara all have a chance to fight for the Triangle Championship. And the show gets a 58. Beautiful. We made $1,100. Okay, good to see. And Shokuko is the only arena area that we grew in. All right. Um, yeah, cool. All right, so new month. We lost just over $7,000 in the last month. And also, Wrestle World Japan did launch. However, it's uh, with Shogun right now, we have small, it's small coverage across Japan, and Wrestle World Prioresu is just very small, and it's only internet subscription. So I think we're I think we're just gonna stick with Shogun. Um, it just seems like the better broadcaster, and also we're gonna be leaving Shogun very soon, presumably to go to All Japan TV once we grow, and it's like inevitable any minute now we're gonna grow to small. So. Um, yeah, um, I think that's all I needed to talk about. Um, so yeah, another fucking Kiyomi and Mawako. Dude, this girl is fucking, hmm. All right, I'm getting mad at her. <laughs> Hard Saito did some more trills on basics and safety, and then that's all we had. All right, um... I also, this one's gonna be, I can I, I, oh, I can't, because I am Paige Croft, never mind. I was gonna try to meddle with Paige Croft and, um, Hard Saito to make the storyline we're running more to reality, but, um, yeah, let's do some team bonding, let's do some more team bonding, and look at that, it strengthened the relationship between me and Devil this time. All right, beautiful, so yeah, team bonding just keeps going well for us. And we don't have any angles for pre-booking, so cool. Um, we're opening the show with uh, Kiyomi. You are not Kiyomi. You are Lady Lotus. Kiyomi and Asami in a singles match. Um, Ten minutes. Asami gets the victory. All right. And then we, of course, are going to have a 2v2. You guys know the tradition by now. I and Sayuri are teaming up this time, and they are going to take on Birds of Prey, so maybe they can learn something from these two, because these two are really fucking good. Uh, Higa can get the victory, sure, I didn't. I don't have it listed. All right, now it is time for the four-way match to determine who will join Kade and Sei in the um, um, Triangle Championship match at the pay-per-view, and we are going to have... Kinye, Machiko, Hoshiko, I tried to do this alphabetically, oh well, and um, Yukiko, alright, and who will get the victory, I'm sure you guys can tell, um, based on the storylines we're running, that Kinye will get the victory, and be added to the Triangle Championship match, this will be our Steal the Show, Open script, slow build, decisive. All right, book the segment. Up next, we have a tag match. So tonight, tonight's tour show is going to be kind of a fun one where we have Shiori, Miwako, and Yuma all in their own tag matches for the rest of the tour show just to give some of our top girls um, some more showcase going into the main event at the pay-per-view. So Shiori Japensa has decided to team with uh, say the triangle champion to take on Kade Sugiyama and uh, Romi Yamato. All right, this one's gonna go 22 minutes. 22 minutes. Shiori will get the victory. She can pin Romi. Open script, slow build, clean. Book the segment. Up next is Miwako's tag match, and Miwako has decided to team with Maya. Miwako and Maya are going to take on Eri Sato and Lady Lotus, who I don't have a specific match or angle pre-booking this, but these two are going to face at the pay-per-view. We'll just say that it's announced by now to give some added um, depth to this tag match we have going on, but of course Miwako is going to go over she can pin Aerie, and yeah, open script, slow build, decisive. 
And then our main event, the Yuma Maruya. I always, if I try to say Yuma's name too fast, I fuck it up. Yuma Maruya. Of course, I think we all know who she's teaming with. She's going to be teaming up with Megumi Nakajima. And they will be taking on the team of Torment and Sorrow, who were forcibly... Maki, of course, forcibly taken out of the trios match at the last pay-per-view. And that team is not too happy with Yuma's decision to take... um, Because the storyline we're running is that Yuma refused to let Maki into that match, and then they ended up losing... So Yu is not happy with Yuma for that decision, thinking that, in her mind, thinking that Maki, despite being injured, if she was in the match, they would have won. And then, of course, Maki not being happy because Yuma did not let her compete in that match. So, yeah. But tonight, Yuma will get the victory, proving them wrong, like, fuck you, we wouldn't have won anyway, because I'm I'm carrying this team. (laughs) Um, Open script, slow build, clean. And that is our next tour show. Fucking what? Bitch, who are you complaining at me for? I'm sorry? Girl, oh my god. Alright, whoever can take the pin. I don't give a shit about that. Um, Slightly overused, doesn't matter. Obviously, we're at 100, so we won't be penalized. Alright, beautiful. Asami versus Kiyomi gets a 48. Good to see. 53 for the tag match for Yugo Higo with a 62. God damn. Oh, I love both of them. Like, I'm I'm underplaying Jemmy, who got a 56. That's also a good performance for us. And she was off her game. Fuck, dude. These are both two great women. Oh, my God. 53 for Birds of Prey. Uh, 50 for the Fatal 4-Way. Um, Yukiko was visibly tired. That's a little concerning. I, did, I do kind of want to push you. How young is she? Let me... Hold up. I'm going to take a break from booking real quick. Um... She is 36. She's older than I thought she was. Okay. All right, and and then Machiko. Machiko's 30, so they're both older. I don't know why. I guess because they're lower on the card, I just assumed they were younger. Um, But yeah, Yukiko. So she's 36, so that's going to continue to be a problem for her. Um, So that stamina is probably closer to the 57 than it is the 65. Um, But yeah, she's a mid-card talent, so it's not too concerning, to be honest. All right, Romy Yamato got a swollen calf muscle. That's unfortunate, but I don't think we have her booked on the next tour show. Um, no, we don't, so we're fine. It's, it's upsetting to see, but we'll be fine. Um, Say is the only one that got it. Oh, no, sorry, Shiori got a 53 also. Say and Shiori really showing out during this performance. Match gets a 50. No heat, thank God. Oh, my God. That's the worst part about injuries. Like, obviously, it sucks when someone gets injured and I can't use them. The heat is the part that hits me worse. I hate I hate that people get mad at each other. <laughs> um, oh, there's the dog. Uh, 60 for Maya and Miwako versus Ari Sato and Lady Lotus. Miwako getting a 59. Good shit. Good match. Maya 54. 60 for the match. The main event also gets a 60. Everybody got at least a 50. Great way to finish the show. Um, Yuma and Megumi are fucking great. I couldn't ask for a better couple girls to end the show with. And we get a 59. Oh, I'm calling bullshit. Oh, maybe I'm not. I guess they were both 60s. Um, she can work through it for 30 days. Um, no offense, Romy, but you are kind of on the lower end of our roster. So I might just give you the time off, to be fair. And we grew. Look at that. Kanto and Tohugu. We grew. Let's go. All right. All right. We got one more tour show before our pay-per-view. All right. Final tour show of the tour before our pay-per-view. And um, Sensational Origawa actually got a... um, Is a locker room leader over in Exodus, even though she's our owner. So it's like, who the fucking... You know Exodus is in the fucking mud when our owner, who doesn't even take priority, is one of their locker room leaders. Hard Saito doing more training. Seven people. Um, Asami Okubo getting a rib because of how little... Oh my god. Oh, because of how... Oh my... I, I don't know how, but I fucking read this completely wrong. Um, ribbed a little because of how much she's starting to be influenced by Megumi. Um... All right, cool. And then guess what we're guess what we're doing? We're bonding the team. We're bonding the team. You and Devil, hell yeah. 
It's all we need. It's all we need. All right. Only one promo tonight, so we're opening the show with Sayuri and Yukiko. All right. Ten minutes. Exclude already book, because that's going to get confusing later. Yukiko. Oh, shit. Whoops, my bad. Uh, there's my stream. There's my streaming software. Uh, Yukuko. All right. Up next, we have a tag match between I and Kiyomi versus Power and Glory. Ten minutes. We are not giving Karen the win because she has not fucking earned it anymore. Um, all right. And then next, we have another tag match. Torment and Sorrow versus The Termination. And this is going to go 14 minutes. It's our Steal the Show match. And Maki can get the victory over... Ye, not you, you can't do that. Uh, Toku, she can get the victory over Toku. Open script, clean. Alright, up next we have a three-way tag team match. All three ladies in the Triangle Championship match have picked a partner and will take on each other tonight. Say will team up with Hana, Ajibana, Kade will team up with Atsuko, not Atsuko, sorry, Amiko, <laughs> my bad, um, and Kinye will team up with Hoshiko. All right, and this match is going to go 18 minutes total. And Say's team can get the victory. I, I, uh, we'll do Han. No, we can't do Han. I picked the one that isn't. Um, Hoshiko can take the pin. Open script decisive. Book the segment. Up next is a 4v4 between, um, Birds of Prey. Monster Ishimura and Lady Lotus taking on Yuma, Megumi, Eri, and Maya. All right, big 4v4 match. This goes 22 minutes total. And we are going to have Fuyuko Higa can pin Lady L Nope, I want, I did it again. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Lady... You know what? Lady Lotus can pin Airy. Preview for their match. That's what we can do. Um, open script. Slow build clean. And we're going to protect Yuma. Because I don't want her losing anything from this match. Alright. And then we have a Monster Ishimura promo. Which should be two minutes. Correct. And then in our main event, another 4v4. We are going to have... The Uprising, Paige Croft, and Hart Saito versus, I get, I think you can guess, it's going to be Team Sub, Shiori Japensa, and Miwako Katsukawa. And Team Shiori will get the pin. 28-minute match. Uh, we'll give, we'll give it, we'll give it to Shiori this time. And she can pin, I'll take the pin, because I'm the least over. Open script, slow build, clean. And, yep, Pagecroft is being used too much on the show. That is fine with me. All right, start the show. Sayuri Honda and Yukiko gets a 46. Yukiko getting a 40. Sayuri getting a 40 is really good, actually. Um, Yukiko might not be as good as I originally thought she was. So, uh, another 46 for Power and Glory's turn. Thea Davis with another 52. Good to see. 58 for Torment and Sorrow versus The Termination. Toku did have the lowest performance. I was expecting that. But you and Maki are just way better than I thought they'd be. Um, <laughs> the the three-way tag team match. Amiko and Kade have good chemistry. Okay. Okay. I might, I might go with that going forward. Um, let me... I might go with that going forward. Who knows? Who knows? We'll see how this turns out, but that's good to see. Um, but yeah, 53, Say's team gets the victory. 50 for the first 4v4. 
Um, anybody have Yuma, of course, with a fi fucking 63. Nobody... Okay, Monster had a bad... Goddamn Monster. Oh. <laughs> Alright, poor girl is just not doing too well. But Maya with a 57. Ari did alright. Megumi, everybody else did great. So, yeah, beautiful. 50 for that match. And then Monster Ishimura's team may have gotten the victory over Maya tonight, but neither woman were involved in the finish. Monster knows this and tells Maya that at the pay-per-view, the two of them will be in a trio's three-man, not three-man, a six-woman match, and Monster promises to decisively beat her in that match. And that angle gets a 47. Good shit. If Monster ain't good for much, but she's decent at promos. Um, and then the main event gets a 60. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, Mawako got a 60. Um, everybody did alright. Edsuko and Shiori and Hart did great. Um, but yeah, I can't be mad at that show. We get a 58. You love to see it. We made 1100 bucks. And we grew in a couple regions. So all in, all in, a, a good way to finish out the tour going into the pay-per-view. Um, the pay-per-view, I will go back, for the pay-per-view, I will go back to pre-booking the whole card just so we can do a rundown of all the matches that we have for the pay-per-view. So let's get into that. All right, we're finally here for the pay-per-view. And um, yeah, give the night off to I, say Yuri. And the other one, Kiyomi, maybe she won't be a, she can't be a prick backstage if she isn't fucking here. Um, so yeah, there we go, giving the young lines the night off. Um, they want us just to run Kyoto, is there any place better? We have 700 estimated fans. Um, no, because the ticket sales we make will be worth the higher cost, so... Yeah, Kyoto is fine. Uh, we use Shogun. Booking team meetings. All right, we got a decent amount of um, creative energy to use. And I think we'll just keep, just do creative finishes each time. Um, safe bet. Yeah, I'm going to use that one tonight. You know what? Let's get a second one. I got nothing else. Bit of a gamble. For Yuma only. Ooh. Okay. All right, let's. Mm. And the other one. So the sure, the sure bet. I can. I think I'm gonna use both of these tonight and risk it. All right. Um, Jemmy and Sensational Arigawa have been getting on particularly well. Uh, Kinye and our referee have been getting along. Hart Saito worked on basics and safety for four students. Oh, I should keep them. That's right. I forgot about this. I did want to keep the young lions just to train more. So I'll, st I'll stop doing that then. Damn. Um, and Hart Saito's in a great mood. Um, Asami's being influenced by Atsuko, who wouldn't be. All right, sweet. And let's do some more team bonding. Me and Devil got mad at each other again. I'm not surprised. And all right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It is time for Women of Wrestling. Um, I was going to run down the card, but it's fine. I have I have it all sorted out. So we're going to open with the five-star triangle championship match. Um, 12 minutes. Say is going to get the victory, and she is going to pin Kade Sugiyama. So there's not going to be any... I fucking pinned you, and you didn't even have to pin me to retain your title. So, nope, Kade is getting pinned, and Say is retaining her title. 12-minute match to open the show. We then have a 15-minute, hopefully, classic between Ari Sato and Lady Lotus, where I am going to give Lady Lotus the victory. I don't know if this is going to be, like, a huge win for her. Ari has 25, she has 27, so it won't be a huge win for her. Um, in fact, she's the favorite. Didn't even notice that. All right, but Lady Lotus is getting the win in 15 minutes. We then have Monster Ishimura and Torment and Sorrow will be taking on Maya and the Termination. And despite, despite the fact that I, 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 I've been very critical of Monster Ishimura and the save so far, we are going to have 
her pin Maya just to advance the storyline a little bit. But don't worry, I have a plan, and that plan will be in the post-match angle we run. Then it's time for Team Sub versus the Uprising Tag Team title match. It's going to go 20 minutes, and the Uprising are actually going to retain. I have Thalia Quinzel pinning Chieko Kita. Um, should I protect them? 25... 25, 31, that will be a pretty big hit, and I don't want to do that to Atsuko, so you know what, I'm, yeah, I am gonna, I am gonna protect both of them, it's middle of the match, middle of the card, it's not a huge deal, um, but yeah, and then we have a post-match for that, semi-main, we're gonna use our creative finish here, Creative finish, the safe bet, because we can't use the Yuma one. Um, yep, I've, I've named this team um, Wrestling Passion. I, I was thinking of, like, heart, you know, love, heart. And um, Paige Croft, in her bio, it says she wants to be a cold-hearted technical wrestler. And she can probably do that in a company like Five Star, where everybody else is short like her. Um, so I thought Wrestling Passion, it was the perfect name for the team of Hearts, Aito, and Paige Croft. This is not supposed to go 10 minutes. I forgot to put the time. And of course I don't have my spreadsheet ready. Hold up. Sorry. Um, this is supposed to go 25 minutes total. And I'm sure you've seen, but Fuyuko Higa will get the victory, pinning me in the, in the match after 23 minutes. Main event... Megumi Nakajima. Oh, I also gave them a team name, too. They're not going to be a unit, but I feel like I'm going to be teaming them up a lot, especially with the story I've run. So I'm calling them the Persian Queens because I remember Yuma having, like, cat ears in the old renders. So, I, you know, Persian Queens, they're the Queens of Five Star. Um, and Yuma is getting the victory, so I can use that creative finish here. Um... We're going to go for it. I know it's a bit of a gamble, but I'm, I'm willing to risk it. I feel like even with the bad finish, if it goes bad, the match will still be incredible. And way more than the, what, 31 we need to hit or something. So we'll be fine whether or not the finish works out or not. So book the segment, and then we do have a post-main event angle. All right, and we should be good. Page Croft is being slightly overused. That's fine. Pre-booking, absent worker, store cavities. All right, cool. And we should be at 137, correct? All right, all right. Time to get into the pay-per-view. Opening match gets a 54. Say is the fucking, is the man. Um, 52. I, 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 I have lingering love for these two because they were in North of the Border when I was prime North of the Border stan. But um, they just aren't giving me ratings, which is kind of upsetting. But uh. Say really carried this match. 50. Actually, you know what? Kade wasn't too far off. She just didn't hit 50. I was shitting on her for nothing. Kinye, though, I feel like Kinye. Um, let's see. She was penalized for trying to go all out. I can't use spinal impact moves. Oh, um, you know what? You know what? We're getting decent enough matches not allowing spinal impact moves, and we're not getting too many injuries. So I'm going to keep it, actually. I usually turn that off, but I don't want injuries that much. So yeah, 54 for the opener. And then a 58 for Lady Lotus and Ari Sato. I keep trying to call her Satao. Um, it's Sato. Ari Sato and Lady Lotus uh, gets a 58. Both women had a decent performance. Actually, good performance. Crowd's white hot. Good to see Lady Lotus wins in 15.08. It is then... Monster Ishimura and Torment and Star versus Maya in the termination. Who the fuck is a star now? God damn it. Who re who rose up to star? Everyone with a decent performance. Monster and Toku were the leakest. Monster is the weakest of them all. Uh, match got a 46. The wrestling was a 51, so it got the penalty for um being too short. Who in between when I booked this? Is it fucking Monster? Oh, Christ. Oh, I don't want her to be a star. She just can't, she can't fucking do the match, matches needed to be a star. Um, I actually want to get rid of these numbers. I don't like having the numbers here when I, um, nobody look. Um, when I'm look, when I have the cards, I don't like the numbers still being there. So, all right, sorry. 
So, in the post-match, Monster Ishimura has finally set out what she said she would do, beat Maya, and earn herself a rematch for that All-Asian Championship. And with Maya still on the ground recovering, Monster makes her official challenge. But once Monster finishes, Lady Lotus enters the ring and says that she has beaten Maya twice in tag matches on this tour and just had one impressive victory over Ari Sata. Fucking, this is like the easiest last name for me to pronounce too. Ari Sato, in the previous match, <laughs> Lady Lotus tells Monster Ishimura that she won't let Monster get another all-Asian title match before her. Boom, Lady Lotus laying down the law. Monster Ishimura may have a roadblock, another roadblock, in her attempts to get that all-Asian title match. 41 for the angle. And 63 for Team Sub versus The Uprising. Selena's Valette got a 62. Oh my god. And Itsuko got a 67. These fucking women are crazy. Holy shit. Okay. I was not expecting that from Selena. I have kind of... Not in, not like written off the uprising, like they've just retained the tag titles. I don't want them to job out, but I'm like, okay, they're Gaijin. They're going to do all right. Not great. They're not going to be American Cobras good. They might be American Cobras good. Holy fuck. Um, but yeah, uprising defeat team sub in 20 minutes, 63 rated segment. And then after the defeat and the tag title match, team sub get to their feet and Chieko grabs a microphone. To most fan surprise, Team Sub actually give the Uprising a good amount of praise and tell them that they are one of the best teams this company has to offer. And Chieko ends the promo by saying we hope to team up with you two in the future. Um, I like to assume, especially since I've taken control, that um, the audience is just expecting everyone to shit on each other. So actually seeing two women go out of their way to give two other women like, their flowers after a defeat is kind of like, oh, shit, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Um, but yeah, segment got a 32, and what could this mean? See them team up in the future. And 67? Oh, God, and the surefire finish was terrible. Oh, no. <laughs> 67, Fuyuko got a 75. God damn. Fuyuko is fucking crazy. Um, but Birds of Prey defeat Wrestling Passion in 22-59. When Higa pinned Paige Croft with the death from above, Paige was the weak link, and she only got, she didn't even, I, I didn't even do that bad. I was just so much worse than these fucking wrestling fucking superstars in the ring with me. Um, Second got a 67, and then I'm, done, I'm not feeling too good about the next creative finish. Yeah, and it still got a 70. I was right. I was right. I was right to take that risk. The match got a 70 and the finish failed because our fucking world champion got a 72. The first 70 rated performance of the save so far. I'm pretty sure maybe somebody got one on the last pay-per-view, but I can't remember. Not a single fucking performance below 60. Oh my god. Um, But yeah, the Persian Queens defeated Shiori and Miwako in 2607 when Yuma pinned Miwako with the Yuma special. And, um, after Miwako was pinned by Miss 5 Star Yuma Maruya, Shiori Japensha initially looked incredibly pissed off. But once realizing that Miwako needs help to get back to her feet, Shiori's expression changed to a concerned look instead of an angry one and actually helped Miwako to her feet. Shiori raises the hand of Miwako and both women get a standing ovation. Um, but as Shiori begins to leave... She quickly turns around and lays Miwako out with a brutal roundhouse kick. Oh, it cut, oh, it didn't cut off. All right, beautiful. Megumi and Yuma rush back into the ring to stop Shiori from doing any more damage. But at this exact moment, Chieko Kita, Etsuko, Arihoshi, I'm just doing the first names. Chieko, Etsuko, Selena, and Talia all rush to the ring. And all five women begin beating down everybody else until there's only one, until they are the only ones left standing. Then as the dust settles, once it settles, Shiori grabs a microphone and quickly exclaims, We are best ever. No, she was not speaking in broken English. She was announcing the formation of the Save's first stable, Best Ever, led by Shiori Japensha. The angle gets a 46. Um, 
part one had a great rating, but the other two fucking sucked, apparently. <laughs> Everyone was really happy, and then they booed it. Fuck. They booed the, they booed the turn. Oh, no. <laughs> um, but yeah, the final angle gets a 46, and the show gets a 67. Beautiful. Address the locker room. I gotta give Miwako her fucking flowers. And, um, who was the other one that got, I know if... Higa got a 70 or something. I, I lied. I, 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 immediate, I watched Higa get like a 72, and then I said Miwaka with the first 70 of the save. I am sorry. I'm just I'm just having a great time that I'm not even fucking... I'm on like autopilot with like technical shit. Nobody got injured. We made $5,000 from that pay-per-view, and we grew. We grew. I think that means... I think that means we're going to rise up. I think that means we're rising up to small. Let's check. Let's check. This could be good. This could be good. We might be at small already. Come on. Come on. And... Yeah, there we go. There we go. Beautiful. Rise to small size. So, hopefully this means... Hopefully this means this will be one of the last months where we lose. I am expecting to lose money, but now that we're at small size, I think we're going to get more tickets. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. What are we what are we looking at? Small, small and oh, fuck me. Oh, god damn. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Mm. Just as I talk about getting more money. Oh, brutal. Just brutal. Just hate to see it. Doc Hammond's gone. About fucking time, guys. About time. We just got Doc Hammond. I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna do the picture. Um But yeah, good tour. Good tour. And our next tour is gonna be for Big Crush. Don't worry. I I think I'm going to keep all of our tours to a maximum of six days, excluding any Grand Prix. Like, the this the, the J Grand Prix will keep eight days, and the... I thought we had another. I thought we had another tournament. If I'm... I might be wrong. Tag Team Grand Prix. When is that? When is the Tag Team Grand Prix? The Dynamo Tag. That would make sense. I could have... I could have guessed that, guys. I could have fucking guessed that. Um, so yeah, the J Grand Prix is going to be eight days, and the Dynamo, the Dynamo, I, I might actually make this one eight, but, um, I feel like seven tour days, even for Joshi Mania is a bit much, I think six tour days, especially for, like, creative, creatively, I'm, I'll, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, we're pretty dry by the end of the tour, and adding another day is just going to make it the video longer, the booking process longer, take the videos longer to get up. I I think I'll keep them at six days. Um, if we start to really lose money, then then I might think about adding the days because we do get money. We're making a profit after each show, so we might need to make the tour seven days. Um, I'm rambling now. You guys get what I mean. Um, I hope you all enjoyed episode number two of Five Star. I'm having a lot of fun booking it, so... Um, I don't care if you guys enjoy it, because I am, so that means I'm gonna keep uploading it. <laughs> that sounded mean, but you get what I mean, I hope. Um, but yeah, up next is 5 Star Big Crush, and, um, yeah, I hope to see you all there.